Our sacrament blessing for today is the sacrament of confirmation. What is confirmation? Confirmation is the second sacrament of initiation and is meant to perfect the grace we receive at our baptism. But first, we'll start with the biblical origins of confirmation. Then talk about the ritual itself, the four symbols and the seven gifts of the Spirit, and then the energy that this sacrament brings to the spiritual journey. Like all seven sacraments, confirmation was instituted by Jesus himself. At the Last Supper, Jesus promised to send his disciples the Holy Spirit. Ten days after Jesus ascended into heaven, the apostles gathered together for Pentecost, a Jewish feast day, and suddenly the Holy Spirit rushed upon them. Then tongues of fire burst apart and floated it above each person's head. From that time on, the apostles preached with a new level of spiritual power. In Acts 1, Jesus told the apostles, You receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And the apostles went to the believers in Samaria and prayed for them to receive the Holy Spirit. Because as it was described in Acts chapter 8, they had only been baptized. So, let's talk about the actual ritual and what happens. Well, first, when you are a candidate for confirmation or a confirmant, you pick a sponsor. You choose a person who will serve as a guide and model during the process. It can be anyone who is a Catholic and is willing to guide you as a spiritual mentor. Often, it could be a godparent. The sponsor also serves as a witness during the ceremony. Also, in some dioceses, those about to be confirmed take a favorite saint's name as their own. Yeah, like a special sign of spiritual identity. If you choose a saint whose qualities you relate to and want to emulate, and this helps you own the sacrament, make it personal and connected to the communion of saints. Well, my favorite or my communion saint is Saint Thomas Aquinas because he is the patron saint of student. How about you? Who is your confirmation saint? My confirmation saint is Saint Dominic de Guzman because my name, Dominico, was based on his name. That's pretty cool. Let's talk about what happens during the ceremony. Yeah, there are four main parts or symbols to the sacrament. First, the confirmants speak their baptismal vows, renewing or confirming the rejection of evil and their embrace of the faith. Second, the vision. A diocesan bishop governs both practically and spiritually his local diocese, district of churches, working with the parish priests and deacons. The bishop stretches out his hand over the confirmant and calls down the power of the Holy Spirit. The laying on of hands is how the apostles confer this gift. The third is anointing with chrism, which is a consecrated oil that's been blessed by the bishop and whole leaders. Chrism is made up of balsam and oil. Oil is significant for many reasons. Oil is a sign of abundance and joy. Oil was used to live your athletes. This shows how, as a soldier of Christ, we must be prepared at all times. Oil was used for healing wounds. The confirmation gives us the grace we need to overcome our wounded nature due to sin. The bishop anoints the forehead with the prison, saying, Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. A seal on your soul will mark Christ's identity in you, so you will share more fully in God's image. Lastly, the bishop says, Peace be with you, to show the church is one people of God, and these gifts of the Spirit are to be used for building peace, love, and unity with God's people. And then, and that brings us to what Catholics call the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Wisdom to you know what's truly important. Understanding to know why it's important. Counsel to judge between right and wrong and to choose what's right. Fortitude to persist in doing the right thing with courage no matter what. Knowledge to know God and His plan of salvation. Piety to know that the God who created the universe deserves love and grace. Fear of the Lord, having a right perspective of God's almighty power and love. There, there are gifts for each of us to unwrap and dive into and learn how to develop. Now, let's differentiate the baptism and confirmation, and also talk about the matter, form, minister, and issue of this sacrament. Confirm and delicious. 